I was already vegetarian just because I didn't want to harm animals and I didn't know that consuming dairy was harming animals. I really thought that milk was good for health. Whole of Asia, except the Indian subcontinent, never used milk. There's no milk in Chinese food, Japanese food, Sri Lankan food, even Burmese food. Our nearest neighbors, there's no milk. But if you start thinking and you're conscious of every step, I think everybody would be vegan. Because, you know, it's good for health, it's good for animals, it's good for the environment. Why not? Right now, we are out of balance because we are losing wildlife to land animals. Imagine how much space there would be for wildlife if we didn't have to utilize all this land to raise all these animals. The forests would come back, biodiversity would come back. The reason we are losing our whole life cycle is because of our diet. Sharan stands for Sanctuary for Health and Reconnection to Animals and Nature. If we get in tune with our body and listen to our body, we can heal ourselves of most lifestyle diseases. Today we see so many diseases that could be reversed if we allowed our body to heal itself. So Sharan's idea is to help people understand what their body is saying. So if we eat food which is natural to our anatomy, and learn to listen to our body and know what our body is saying, we will heal miraculously. We have a peace versus pills, we have a reversing diabetes seminar, we have a reversing heart disease and hypertension seminar. We also have a special seminar for people who want to lose weight. People can come to our one day seminar and we also have a 21 day disease reversal program which is residential. It's in a beautiful resort of 26 acres where there are hills and there's a sea and we have yoga classes every day and every day we have cooking classes. There were about 20 of us all going through some healing process in the body, maybe reduction of weight, maybe heart disease, maybe diabetes, maybe thyroid. We were all coping with it together and each one giving support to each other. I think that was a lovely feeling. I was on a very heavy dose of medication for diabetes. I was tired of being uh, fat and having a diabetic and not having a control over the life. In Oroville, I find it absolutely impossible to walk because of my weight. So what attracted me to this program is hope. There was a hope which my doctors never offered. The basic myth of diabetes is that people think it cannot be reversed, it's a hereditary gift. I have got fabulous results because right now I'm completely off medication. We train the chefs at Swaswara to do all our food just perfectly. So we have amazing breakfast and lunch. And actually before breakfast we even start with a fruit buffet for everybody. I'm so happy to be a vegan. I feel light and nice. My wife would say, what kind of life is this? It's better to die. No eggs, no milk, no panda, no burpee. What are you doing? Today we are enjoying the lovely mangoes, the chikus and all which we had probably not eaten from the day we became diabetic. After breakfast we are only waiting for lunch and after lunch we are waiting for what is going to come for dinner. We were not aware that uh, vegan food can be so tasty and that we could adapt to it so soon. Anything is possible and this is what I learned and I'm thankful to Sharon. They have guided me to my new life. And in that program we have the lab reports right in the beginning and then all the way in the end. And we check them every single day and as they get better we cut down the medications. What we've seen up to now is that by the end of the program most people are off 70% of their medications. Many of them are off even 100% of their medications in just 21 days. That's how fast the body can heal itself. It takes 21 days to change a habit. 
So this is a better than tuna salad with all the ingredients, the vegetables, the chickpeas and the cashew mayonnaise. A lot of people think that when we cook without oil, the food will not be tasty. But actually, when we cook with whole ingredients, all the flavor comes out. So this is going to taste good just with a little bit of soya sauce and lime juice and maybe some ginger sprinkled on top. So, I like to live in the most ecological and most natural way possible because it gives me a lot of insights on how nature works, how animals think, how animals behave instinctually. So I often call my seminars unlearning. 5,000 people know how they can reverse their diseases and get back to health. The impact has been much wider, however, because many of the people who come to our program, when they get better, want to tell other people about it. And for me, it's been such a change because when I was practicing as a homeopath, patients would come and I would listen to complaints all day long. So my whole feeling is much more positive because instead of listening to complaints, I'm just listening to results every day. I love to eat at home every day just because I eat like this. My food tastes so good compared to what you can find outside and uh, it keeps me real, really healthy as well.